Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Appreciate you, Coach. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night. All sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spotlight night. How about Sunday night? But there still is some magic to playing on Monday night, and these two teams are feeling it. Josh Lambeau now ready to put this one in the air. And off we go from Soldier Field. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the former Louisville Cardinal, Teddy Bridgewater. To me, the best part of Teddy Bridgewater's game is his decision-making. Very smart, loves to watch the game, loves to analyze it, and he does it so well, he takes care of the football and keeps his team in good spots. The first carry now, this is Johnson. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. And now the offense for Detroit. Obviously a tough test for this offense right out of the gate. Road game in game one of the new year. Conventional wisdom says, go slow, take care of the football. I think in this case, attack early and get the home team back on their heels. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The starting 11 defensively for the Bears. Kyle Fuller is one of those new breed, complete defensive backs. Eager to tackle, but a better cover man. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. From the gun, Bridgewater. Oh, batted at the line and intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Let him know, let him know. Let him not go. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
So a pretty shaky start here for both sides. Yeah, each quarterback's throwing a ball to the other team. Do you think on both sidelines, they're sitting them down and saying, okay, remember, this is the color jersey we're wearing. <laughs> they're wearing the other color. Let's make sure we get it to our guys, please. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they are hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10 to throw Bridgewater. He finds his man, Johnson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. On second down now, it's Johnson. A sizable gain there of nine yards, but it's still third and long. Third and long for Bridgewater. Screen play, Johnson. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. The screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. First down, a run with Cohen. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. To throw on second down, Lawrence. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Back to throw. Lawrence. The screen pass here to Cohen. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, Thing stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. 
And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They go play action. Bridgewater. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 20. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty was? I don't was even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look and look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. On third down, Bridgewater. He's going to let this one go deep. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I that. think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return, and the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. This is caught by Robinson. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. This is Cohen. And all the way down inside the five to the four. On, now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. 
They come out with one back and three tight ends. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't begin to turn you ready. Looking to throw. Lawrence. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. Four yards on the touchdown grab as the Bears push further out in front. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Lambeau to add on the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Johnson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. 17-0 our score after one. Bridgewater now from the 50. He gets this one to Johnson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. The Lions on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Bridgewater. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Now Bridgewater on fourth down. And that's caught by Smith. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Johnson. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. The Lions on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. They're up against a third and one situation. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run it with Johnson. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. 
And maybe he was going to be involved in that play from his tight end spot, and he jumped. Yeah, don't tell me that those guys don't like to block. That's what we say about them nowadays in the NFL. But I think he thought he was one of the key pieces in that play and wanted to get out and execute the assignment very fast. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. They'll try to run it in. Johnson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. The dump off gets him only one, and now you're looking at a third down. On third down, Lawrence. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trey Flowers in there to drop him for a six yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Illegal block in the back. Return team. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special team's penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. On the ground, this is Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He only has a single solo carry, one. Numero uno, second quarter. They need to get in the ball more, don't they? I'm not the greatest statistician in the world. Yeah, you are. But a back like that with only one carry kind of takes me back to college in the classroom. Not enough evidence to declare what you should do the rest of the game. Give him the ball some more and find out. Will they incorporate him? We'll find out. The Bears on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. This one into the hands of Burton. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, 
and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. We'll call that a punt of 54 get yards, ready, well struck. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. On second down, Johnson, not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Here's Bridgewater. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading out of the field again. He's only had a couple of carries. I mean, when you've got a horse like this, second quarter, got to start to ride that horse a little more, don't you? You can't just neglect him. He's got to touch it and off it in order to get maximum out of him. Typically, these types of backs, it's the accumulation of carries, and that's when you see the damage as the game goes on. Yeah, let's see. They're going to try to get him into the flow, we would assume, here. On second down, Swift. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That second down play nets a minus four. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So here come the Lions now. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Off the draw, here's Johnson. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he's stopped behind the line of scrimmage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Lions punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And now consider the lead. The question is, how much is good enough? Are you going for more? It's the NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try and move the ball downfield and try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times. But also, they will attack downfield and try and get position for at least three points. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Lawrence, he finds Robinson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's good for 28 yards. This quarterback now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 
So we reach halftime here in our first Monday nighter of the season as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And that one is still scoreless as they play in the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Flag down. This could set him back. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's a second and seven. He's going to air one out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Lawrence. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Bridgewater to throw it. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 35. This quarterback now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Here's Bridgewater. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. And his throw here is incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. A gain of 22. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. He went backwards five yards there on third down to bring up fourth. 
Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Fleming. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Still second down. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So after the penalty, here's second and three. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Play fake. Bridgewater. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? They'll run on first down. Swift, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A gain of three, second down. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. To throw on second down, Lawrence throwing middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Second and 14. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and 10. Back to throw, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's Sam Martin now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. 
This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. That throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. But you said it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken tackle then that we might see some missed tackles here early on in week one, and that's another one right there. Yeah, not a surprise at all. It will even out as the season extends because everyone will get used to the play speed. But right now, here in the early season, the advantage definitely goes to the offense. This quarterback now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Again, it's Johnson. And an alley to run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there and a line first down. Check, check, nine. Rip left, rip left. The busy night continues for Johnson. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. They go to Johnson again. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Bridgewater. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are too. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. Robinson's got it. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Back to throw. Lawrence. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they... Blitz coming, and down he goes. Boom! Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Bridgewater. He finds his man, Johnson. 
And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Dances by him. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Off the play fake. Lawrence gonna let one fly for Robinson and that'll be incomplete good protection that time and they couldn't hook up on the long one now it's third down to throw on third down Lawrence going right side here and that's complete whether you're playing West Coast offense or not one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. First down, Bridgewater. Johnson's got it complete. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. Bridgewater now. He gets this one to Johnson. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Bridgewater, and that's off the mark, incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable, usually an excellent target, and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eddie Goldman with a sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On third down, Johnson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Well, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. 
You can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. Might want to take that course. Second and 15. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Looking to throw. Lawrence. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We got chips over here. Chips over here. There's overload. Overload. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. On third down. It's Allen, and he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. So out now come the Lions. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his <laughs> fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now this one complete on the slant route. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Bridgewater. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Running from the gun, Johnson. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. He'll get this one to Galladay. That's a gain of 11, would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Bridgewater again. 
And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. Eddie Goldman, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the awesome. witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. To throw is Bridgewater. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and the Bears will get the football back. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. You're not ready. You're not ready. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Here's Sam Martin now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. A beautiful fake. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So now the Lions down by two touchdowns and time a huge factor their offense has struggled all night and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out bridgewater on first down throwing the out route incomplete it's fleming that throw good for four it's second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six Throwing, Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Here's Bridgewater. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off around the 41. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense... They frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And I'm coming for you. You slam, slam, slam. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. 
So for the Bears, it's a great win here on a Monday night as they'll start the new campaign 1-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.